Hello YouTube friends, today we are going to spend our vacation in a place we call Bornholm. It is still a part of Denmark, a little island which is known as the Sunshine Island because during summer it feels like Philippines because it also has rock formations in the northern part and sandy beaches in the south. Are you excited? Let's go and explore Bornholm. So instead of renting expensive hotels, me and my husband's family stayed in a camping place. My in-laws have their own camping van. But as you can see, we can build a tent outside a van. This is where we sleep and during the days, we can also use this as our dining places or in the night as our siesta or higa space. So we went to a place called Hammershoes. You can see here the view of the coastline. Oh, it looks like the view from the beaches in Batangas, right? We actually have to park our cars here because later on we are going to walk all the way up to the ruins of the fortress. So now we are going to walk up to the ruins of the fortress. As you can see, there are a lot of tourists who just stroll all the way up. At the same time, you can also enjoy the view, the breeze, and the weather. Look at that! Now we arrived on top. This place is the Hammershoes Castle Ruins. This is the largest castle ruin in Northern Europe. So back in the old days, this was actually a military base when there was war between countries. Then it got demolished, but it became a tourist attraction because of its history. Having a closer look inside, so this is how one of the rooms look like. If you love history, don't worry. There are a lot of labels where you can read descriptions or stories of that certain area where you are standing. And it will make you feel the ambience of how it was like during the old days. Then Sorta Gruda, or it literally translates to the Black Pot. It is a long, narrow cave very cold inside even summer so if you are claustrophobic i do not recommend you to go inside it is around 50 meters long Ooh. now this is what i may call a fun part we are now in opel soon as you can see there is a zip line where you though have to walk all the way to the top to slide down the line the view from the top is so amazing, so I actually tried it twice and you will land on the water. Very fun! Next stop is the Bornholm Tower. This is where the Danish Intelligence Service is located. You will see pictures, exhibitions, movies, machines and appliances from the Second World War and especially from the Cold War on Bornholm. So that tower is located in the Duo Oda Strand, wherein you will experience the white sand beach, just like Boracay. Now let's go to Gulliam, a little cozy town, Denmark's only town upon a hill, built from the cliffs at sea level. It is also a fishing port. And if you love seafood like me, you can try the seafood buffet here. So I couldn't remember where we were here, but we ate ice cream in this place. 
I was just enjoying the view. It never fails. So the tour is over, we are back to the camping place where we stayed the entire two weeks. Some days we just stayed here doing nothing, just relaxing, family time, and as the Danish way of saying, Vihigaba. That's my sister-in-law. She made a drink out of Rostov, lemon soda, and an astronaut ice cream. This is a must try. Mmm. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little vlog about born home. If you are like me, not a big fan of long travel, if you are in Denmark anyway, try and explore this little island in the summer. And I assure you, you won't feel homesick because it feels like Philippines. Have a nice day. Bye.